everybody, so moving right along with getting my new mower, this is the Xmark uh, 36 inch Turf Tracer Hydro Walk Behind. And it comes with this big giant grass, you know, side shoot shield that you flip up and, and flip down. But there's no way to stop the clipping some of these larger decks when you're going between like a fence in a house or around flowers or something like that. It gets to be um, a pain. And if you got leaves, then you're chasing leaves all over the yard. Uh, so a, a couple options that you have is you could buy a mulch kit, which will be a set of blades, sometimes baffles, depending on the, the mower, the manufacturer, you know, with the mower, um, but always a, a side shoot blocker. Uh, so many people can make their own side shoot blockers and then just change the blades. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I wanted to have it on so you could see how easy it is to take off. Should I find myself into some like really crazy thick stuff and I need to side shoot it, I need to get it out. Since this isn't the manually operated or electrically operated for that matter, a uh, door that can open and close. So this is just a very low cost, inexpensive way of protecting a house, white fence, um, you know, flower beds, kind of make clean up a little bit less. And this should, in the south with the yards I do, this should get me to about the first or second week of July. At that point, the grass is going to be really, really thick, and we'll have to we'll have to um, reevaluate this system. Maybe at that point, I'll make the investment on the door. But for now, I don't have to do that. So, but let me show you how easy it is to take this off, and I'll show you how I did it. 14 millimeter wrench. So if you're out on a yard you come into some really crazy stuff and you're like crap I need to put my side chute back on you see just one wrench and you can do that and so here's the plate okay what we have here is 16th inch steel plate uh, or I'm sorry a sixteenth of an inch steel plate one sixteenth all right it's thin it's thick enough that it's not like you know it doesn't bow you're not gonna bow this um, it's it'll take a shot it'll take a rock it'll take anything and it's not gonna go through this um, if it would then it would have gone through the plastic chute uh, that's sitting there and ricocheted off anyways so this is solid steel right here just bare metal steel and what I did is I got a couple carriage bolts that I actually took off of just the mount here, just for temporary reasons. You see there's two bolts missing. One's in the middle to hold it. And I drilled the holes through the metal and I tack welded the head. I tack welded the head of the bolts to the steel so I don't need a wrench on this side and it's smooth and round. So I didn't want anything larger than the deck so I could fit through everything. That was the purpose of getting a 36 inch. So I didn't want square heads sticking out and stuff like that. So I got the carriage bolts, tack welded it, grinded it down. I don't need to have a second wrench. One 14 millimeter wrench right here is all that you need. And then this already had, the mower already had a hole drilled here, probably for a bag attachment or a mulch plate or something that the manufacturer already had the hole drilled. Um, there's also a hole here, there's a hole here, there's a hole here, there's these right here are for your side chute, just the two bolts. Again, you don't need, you don't need anything. Those carriage bolts are locked, so 14 millimeter, uh, to put it right back on. So literally in five minutes or less, I can go from completely screwed to having my side chute if I need it. Um, so this hole was already here, so I just, you know, marked the steel plate and drilled it through. And then this hole was not, and so I just drilled a hole right here, boom. Uh, and then there's the steel plate. And so once I had it all lined up, I nut and bolted it down, and then I, I welded it. And so that's it. So we have a mulch plate. All right, also, I went to my local dealer, and I got some Xmark Red. So I can be sure to cover up any bare metal so I don't prematurely start creating rust. Uh, so that includes here where I drilled a hole 
and it's also going to include uh, the mulch plate. Not too worried about painting this, although I will, um, but that's gonna get beat up from sand and dust and dirt and gravel and grass and all that. Uh, but the outside, we're gonna paint the outside. Once we put it all on, we'll have that painted so it'll look really, really nice. Um, but yeah, this is the X mark. So right. Once this dries, we'll mount this back up and we're gonna paint this right on the machine and it'll be done. But the blades that came with this machine are uh, high lift blades, okay? They got, a, they got an aggressive wing tip on them. And when you put a block right here, the manufacturers take a lot of pride in developing these decks to process the clippings and get them out. Um, if clippings stay underneath the deck and you don't have the proper blades, then you're gonna be slowing your blade speed down, obviously bogging your engine down. So this deck with these blades is designed to work with the side shoe, and that's how you bought it. And that's to let the grass get out of the deck. When you block that, what's gonna happen is the grass is still trying to come this way, but it can't because you got it blocked. So when grass starts to get a little bit thick, you may find a line of debris as you pass over your yard and you look at your right foot, your right foot might be walking right alongside a line of debris, clippings and especially leaves. Um, that's okay if that happens just a little bit, you go back over it once or twice, whatever. I mean, mulching is mulching. That might happen. Um, the problem is when you start getting really large clumps and you're slowing your engine down, you're bogging it down, that's when you know you definitely have the wrong blades and that's when you're gonna wanna get like gator blades um, or something like that, the mulching kit blades that come with this for this mower. Um, those are the ones that have like the alligator back, the gator blades. Those are gonna mulch, those are mulching blades. So instead of creating a lot of wind and pushing all the material toward the side chute, like these are designed, it's gonna create less wind and the, the gator back the way the, the, the blade, the wing tips are, are serrated, chops up the clippings right there and puts it back in the lawn as you're going over rather than trying to throw it. That's all stuff we'll get into later. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys and give you the dimensions of this plate in case you wanna make your own. Okay, again, this is a 16th steel plate. You can cut it with a jigsaw with a metal blade, but you might go through a few. I used a four inch cutting disc on a four inch hand grinder, angle grinder. So you're looking at 12 inches long by six and a half inches wide, okay? 12 by six and a half. And that's it. You drill your holes. You don't have to do the welding that I did, but it, it makes it easier. Um, and, then, and that's all you gotta do, man. And that, that's gonna save you a lot. And so you guys will see this week coming up, this weekend I have my boys, um, but Tuesday, I cut my yard and my neighbor's yard, so you guys are gonna see coming up how this plate is gonna save me a lot of grief while the grass isn't too, too thick. And like I said, we'll make adjustments as the season goes on and we'll learn together. We'll see how long this can last. The next adjustment I'll make will be mulch blades, but these are still brand new blades, nice and sharp. I'm gonna to continue to use them. Um, but when, when I need to sharpen these blades, I'll put on a set of mulch blades and we'll see how long we can go. Okay, so there we go. I got it painted. Um, it's all done. It's mounted back up. Like I said, 114 millimeter socket mounts it back up. Um, when we're ready to uh, put the mulching blades on, we'll go ahead and do that. But go ahead and look forward to uh, some videos coming up, showing this thing in action now with the, the plate. Free, 100% free, cost me not a penny. I got this little scrap of steel from, uh, from, uh, from work. So if you could find a little scrap of steel somewhere or something, Home Depot and Lowe's sells little sections of, of metal like this. See if they can cut it. Uh, if you can't, and then get yourself a drill bit and go to your local Xmark dealer and get yourself some red Xmark paint, spray paint, and you're done. All right, um, trailer's done. I'll go ahead and link to the video up here on these racks, the review I did on these racks, but the trailer's all done with the weed eater racks now. I, I took this out of my way for the camera, but my, head, my uh, hedge trimmer goes here. Um, mower is just about the way I want it now to uh, get me through summer. We're really, really close. And um, now I'm doing things with securing my blower and my other hedge trimmer on the other side. And then we'll do a, uh, we'll do a video of my trailer setup. Super cheap, super easy to do. Um, get, you, get you going. My goal is 
to be able to use a Toyota Prius to make money cutting grass. Not that I'm going to, but I'm just saying, if you got an SUV or, or something, if you can, if you don't have a truck, but if you can get a trailer, we can get you moving, man. We can get you some money. You can, you can take care of yourself. All right, so there's your mulch plate installed free. Well, it cost me the spray paint. All right, bye.